I think that um, we have seen this in the past as well, that this will hopefully for the merchants lead to a better pricing. And then I think um, the acceptance will increase. Um, we have seen this in some sectors who had not accept cards due to, high, due to high interchanges. And then when MasterCard and Visa introduced a special interchange fee for such sectors, then the acceptance uh, was there. So I think um, that is probably the most important thing for the consumer, that uh, the acceptance will grow. So this is a big advantage for him as well. But I think um, the first or most important impact probably is currently for the small merchants who do not accept uh, car payments um, as well maybe for the pricing, not so much for the interchange but for the price of the hardware of the terminals. And they have now a cheaper solution for, for that, for the acceptance. And so I think, uh, as I answered before as well, the acceptance will, will raise. Um, for the bigger merchants, I think it's still got to be proven if this technology is really uh, could help. Um, I think in general um, the flexibility will, will increase uh, because we, we can, in theory, uh, take the money from the customer in the, in the store and he do not have to, to queue and, and uh, cash uh, out. Also, there are still, I think, some... some uh, technical innovation to be done uh, because how do you control and so on. So um, I think currently, for, especially for the smaller merchant, the advantage is there for the bigger ones. Uh, currently are some testings yet, but I think it will last a little bit longer. Well, from the PSP, um, we, we want to have um, the services from his core business, uh, so payment uh, routing, payment transaction routing, and I would say the the services around this core principles. So, for instance, fraud uh, management, fraud detection. Um, I would not expect uh, so much more. So, all the things and discussions around big data connections to the customer, I would say that um, this is something that our marketing uh, colleagues can do and not our PSP. Well, I think that uh, currently there will, um, the impact will not be so much because I think the, the NFC technology will be used by currently heavy card users, so they probably will increase um, their transactions um, in the short term. In the mid and long term, I think uh, this is uh, very uh, good and smart technology, so I think uh, that we will see a decreasing uh, cash transactions volume, but as I mentioned, I wouldn't say, uh, expect too much in the short run. Well, I would say um, we expect from a mobile payment solution the same criteria as we expect from from old solutions. Um, we want to have a secure, uh, fast and, and a cheap solution. And especially for the new ones, it's got to be easy to, to handle and um, it got to be widespread because currently we see a lot of uh, solutions. I think there are around 300 in the world. and um, so uh, the, the customer got to uh, select maybe 20 for, for his 20 shops where he is purchasing. So what I'm missing is one solution that fits all a little bit like if you have a MasterCard or Visa, you can go around the world. Well, I think um, it depends a little bit on the size of the merchant and which sector he is uh, working. But um, currently, in the last 10 to 20 years, I think we have seen a trend for, for uh, card payment and customer, I think, is expecting from most of the merchant that he accepts as well cards. So I think uh, in, in the view of the customer, it's, it's, it's helpful the new technology to, to offer these services.
Uh, for 2014, I would uh, put on the first place NFC because we see that it's in a war right now. Um, and on the other hand, um, QR code and uh, BLE, uh, Bluetooth Low Energy, iBeacon, however you call it, um, I think this the three technologies. So they have one thing in common, it's our standards to transmit data, but I think it's, it's the next step after magnetic stripe and, and chip um, that you have contactless transactions.